The Theodore Monod Museum of Art in Dakar, like many other museums around the world, reopened this week after over a year of pandemic-induced closure. The reopening, according to curators at the museum, comes at a time of a new vision and works of art returning to the continent after many years. Built in the early 1930s, the building housed the French Institute for Black Africa and then was renamed the Fundamental Institute for Black Africa, IFAN, before being converted to a museum in 1960. In order to protect the public and employees, it was decided to close the museum. Today, we are one year and two months on from the closure. The vaccines have begun to be distributed to the Senegalese people. The rate of infection has greatly slowed and habits are increasingly being adopted by the Senegalese people. This is why it was decided to reopen the museum. Curator El Aji Malik Diai describes the collection at the museum as unparalleled in Africa. Some of the works were acquired in the 19th century. The museum also now presents its rich collections of African art with objects that have been returned to African soil from France. It isn't a restitution, it's a return, but still the symbolism is there. There are objects that have returned to African soil and the majority to Senegal. The museum's 9,000 works of art had been forced into invisibility by the pandemic as well as the loss of revenue, but the institute says it seized on the closure as an opportunity.